Welcome to Assess, Digital Imagery Analysis for Plant Disease Qualifications. My name is John Koenig. This is part three of our three-part user guide on how to use Digital Imagery Analysis Assess to determine plant disease area. Currently in the previous two lessons we learned how to upload Assess as well as to use Assess using single images. Today's lesson will engulf on how to use Assess to analyze multiple images using a macro and then the batching function of Assess. So the first part of using a macro is um, you'll go up here to the menu bar and you'll see that macro is one of the menus on this bar. From here you can determine if you want to record your own macro, create your own macro, edit a macro that's already been stated or load up a macro. Today we're going to load up a macro, one of my favorites, uh, one that I created for the duration of my study and that one is called Koenig JLK Box Macro 2008 with Area of Interest. So simply double click on that and you'll notice that the macro new menu will come up and you'll see that my macro has already been stated and put it into place. So now that we've loaded up my macro, you can simply hit the file button here on the right hand side in order to load up then our images. Now wherever your images are located, uh, that will be determined uh, and that will be for you to find out. But my images are located within my dollar spot pictures and we're just going to use a few of these just for demonstration purposes only. So I've clicked on all five of those first five that I've used in my study. You'll notice that they drop into then this box here on my right hand side. So with this you'll notice that you're going to click sort files that way all your files are going to be lined up um, by name. And in this case my files that are located here I know that it's part of my dollar spot picture study it's at my location of OTF, Ohio Turf Grass Foundation Research Facility. I know that on the pictures were taken on September 4th, 2008, and this is actually plot number 055, which correlates to a treatment that I've put out. So now that we have all five of our files uploaded and into a Assess's macro formation, we are now going to hit the play button. And what this button will do is automatically then siphon through the macro that was already created. Now this may take a few moments uh, depending on the size of your files and the amount of files that you're doing. But as this comes through then you'll also see then this will give you the opportunity to make sure that Assess is working properly and that it's gathering up those dollar spot infection centers that you want it to. You'll also notice that those thresholds that I've talked about previously are now instated up here on our threshold panel. And as the program goes through, you'll see that it's, it's converting then all those files and all those numbers onto each of those photographs as it runs through. Now that the file is completed, we can simply hit close and then open up our spreadsheet. Now in the spreadsheet you'll notice if we can toggle over to the very beginning and close out our threshold panel you'll see that Assess has taken the liberty of making sure and keeping their, all of our pictures intact and analyzed in order. The spreadsheet feature reminds me a lot of the Excel spreadsheet and it functions pretty much the same way to the point that I recommend cutting and pasting out of here and directly into the Excel program in order to do your statistical analysis and start to see trends. But what we see here on our left hand side is our object number. This is the amount of objects that you had as well as what object was first analyzed within the program. So our object one here in column B we see the leaf pixels that were calculated. We'll see then in column C the lesion pixels that were calculated and then from there are percent area calculations for the 
for those treatments. Now something unique uh, to the upgraded 101 version of ASSESS is that over here in column F you'll see the location of the file and this is why the file name is so important. Given that the file name is actually also telling me the location of the file, where, or where the picture was taken, what study it was taken with, what date the picture was taken, as well as what plot it was on, it will it'll determine then and give you a backup to verify exactly where and what photograph you are looking at and correlating to that then the percent area. Now located within Assess, I have downloaded a few multiple micros that we can uh, look at and edit and you guys can play around with that all you want but simply by clicking on show or create by clicking on editing the macro then you can take a look and see what I've all done with that macro and then if you want to edit the macro and let's say you want to insert uh, for example any of these other functions you can just simply click on the function that you want to insert double click on that and you'll notice that it will automatically go down to the bottom of the page here we're going to click on pause again as if we're going to ins install two pauses now once you have the pause or whatever feature that you want put into the macro you can use these arrows then to navigate and put that throughout the macro wherever you want the macro to start or wherever you want those features to start at. So here if we wanted to pause at the end of those thresholds readings as well as then and at the end of the leaf threshold readings you can click load then this macro post this macro and then that macro with those new changes as you can see here and here have already been uploaded into that macro now that will also then give you the opportunity then once you're in this other screen to save the macros or delete different features as well this pretty well concludes the series, three part series on how to use Assess digital analysis software for plant disease qualifications. Uh, if you have any problems, please refer back to the owner's manual or contact Dr. Michael Bain from The Ohio State University. Uh, he's very familiar with this program as well as Dr. Ricardo Romali, the actual programmer behind using the Assess program. Thank you and have a wonderful day.